As an electronics hobbyist, many a times you need to use a stepper motor in your project. It is mainly used for high torque and low RPM operations, such as robotic arms, 3D printers, etc. But unlike a DC motor, it is not as simple as connecting two wires to run the stepper motor. A stepper motor works in small synchronous pulses or steps, which require a logic circuit known as translator. Thankfully, we have a solution which makes things simpler the A4988 stepper motor driver. It costs for around 1 US dollars and has a maximum current limit of 2 amps, which is sufficient for our Lemma 17 motor. So today I will guide you how to control a stepper motor with an Arduino and A4988 stepper driver. We will see how to control its rotation speed with the potentiometer and change its direction of rotation with the push button. So let's do it. First let us have a look at the components we will need. A stepper motor of course. I have used an MR17 1.7 amps stepper motor, an A4988 stepper motor driver, an Arduino board, a 100k potentiometer, push button, 100 microfarad capacitor, breadboard and some connecting wires. The A4988 stepper driver module has total 16 pins. The VMOD and ground pins are for the external power for the motor. You cannot power the motor from the Arduino as it requires a minimum of 8 to 35 volts. I would recommend using a 12 volts 2 amps external power supply. Make sure you use a decoupling capacitor to avoid any unnecessary noise. The next 4 pins are of the stepper motor. You have to connect the pins with the right polarity, otherwise your motor won't work and make loud noises. You can determine the polarity of the motor using your multimeter. Each pair of same face should have no resistance when measured with a multimeter. So you have to check the pairs which have zero resistance and connect positive and negative of phase A to 1A and 1B and accordingly for phase B. It is always better to check the polarity in the manufacturer information for your motor to avoid this hassle. You can also connect multiple stepper motors for similar actions in parallel until you do not exceed the current limit. Next you have to connect the reset and sleep pin to activate the driver. The A4988 uses 3.5 to 5 volts power so you can power it from the Arduino 5 volt output. Connect the digital 4 pin of the Arduino to the direction pin and digital 3 pin to step pin of the driver. The MS, 1, 2 and 3 pins are for enabling micro stepping. You can connect 5 volts input to the pins from the Arduino to enable micro stepping. There are 5 different modes for micro stepping as shown in the table. It is also important to limit the current to the motor. You can do so by setting the potentiometer on the driver to around 30 degrees clockwise for 0.5 amps. Now let's see the code and get the motor running. First we will run the sample code to run a full rotation and pause for 1 second. The NEMA 17 has a step angle of 1.8 degrees, so it requires 200 steps to complete one full rotation. We will define the pins for step and direction on pin 4 and pin 3. The step and direction are output pins, so we will set pin mode as output and setup. In the loop, we set the direction pin as high. We require 200 steps, so 200 pulses have to be sent to the step pin. It is done by this for loop. The delay in microseconds defines the speed of rotation. The more the delay, the lesser the rotation speed. And lastly, a delay of 1 second to pause the motor after every rotation. Thus, our sample code is complete, so now let's use it on the motor. Connect the power supply to the driver input, in my case my DIY lab bench power supply. Connect the Arduino via USB, upload the code and you see the motor running. If not, make sure you have connected all pins correctly and followed all the procedure.
I have also written a code to run the motor on various speeds using a potentiometer to adjust the motor speed. You have to connect the potentiometer wiper pin to analog zero pin of the Arduino and connect 5V input in the first and ground in the third pin. I have another code in which you can toggle the direction of the motor using a push button. You will find all the links in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.